This is the NAND Robot N6 52 volt electric scooter. And in today's video, we're gonna primarily be focusing on how does the N6 ride on the street? I've already made a video going over the features and the specs. I gave you my first impressions and we did a top speed test where we reached 41.4 miles an hour. Now, if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll leave a link up top for you. Go watch that video first and then come back because today it's where the rubber meets the pavement, baby. We're talking about a ride. We're gonna start off with a real intense pavement ride. We'll do some grass testing, some hill testing, and then I'm gonna give you some range estimates based on my over 300 miles of riding this thing so you can kind of get a gauge of what you can expect for range. And then we'll finish off with my pros and cons, my final thoughts on what I think about the NanRobot N6. So let's go ahead and get started with today's episode of Hobart's Reviews. All right, well, we got a nice straightaway here. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and get this ride started. Now I have found that the brakes, these hydraulic brakes can get kind of squeaky sometimes. They're not as bad as some of the mechanical brakes out there, but they do have their moments where they get squeaky. And that's one thing that I just can't stand is squeaky brakes. Let's go ahead and jump up on here. Whoop, off-roading. Off-roading again. Woohoo! Duck! Pretty fun so far. All right. So the N6 has front and rear hydraulic brakes. And while they sometimes get a little bit squeaky, they do work pretty well. So let's go ahead and do a brake test. 20 miles an hour, slam on the brakes and see what happens. Woohoo! Wow. So I do smell a little bit of rubber or something from skidding. You did hear there's a little bit of squeaking going on. Let's go ahead and try another one here. 20 miles an hour, 22, hit the brakes. Wow. I mean, you gotta watch it because those front brakes started pulling the back wheel up a little bit. So be careful when slamming on the brakes. I think this is the first scooter that I've tested where I've actually locked up and lifted off the ground. So that's good because the brakes are working well, but at the same time, it can be a safety issue. So just be careful. Don't slam on the brakes going too fast, especially the front ones because my rear wheel just lifted off the ground and I had both of the brake handles pulled as hard as I could. So. The power is incredible. Look at, look at how you could peel out the front wheel. Just lift it off the ground a little bit. The suspension is really nice as well. Look at that bounce. So anytime you hit stuff like that, like manholes, you don't even feel them under your feet. Let's go ahead and ride her in the grass. Woohoo! Oh yeah, I can feel it sliding a little bit in this dirt. Wow, whoa, hey. <laughs> So it obviously doesn't have any issues going through dirt. All right, let's go ahead and check the speeds in our speed mode. So right now we're in speed mode one and let's go ahead and see what that gets us to. So it looks like about 19 miles an hour for speed mode one. Let's go ahead and check speed mode two. All right, so speed mode two is gonna get us to 
about 32 miles an hour. And then speed mode three, as you've already seen, gets us up over 40 miles an hour. So those are your different speed modes that you have the choice of using. Let's go back in the grass, woohoo! Yeah, buddy. Nice. All right, what do you say? Let's try to see if we can go up this hill from pretty much a stop. So I'm gonna put it here. We're gonna go up, full throttle, full throttle. It made it up, and that was definitely a, probably a 40 degree slope. Let's try that again. So we're gonna go straight up it from almost a stop, full power. Come on, baby, come on, come on, yeah. <laughs> So it has no problem going up hills. 2,000 watts is a lot of power. You got plenty of power to do what you want to do, but my job is to show it to you, so I'll show it to you. Let's try this one across the street here. No problem at all. Now, one thing that I'm not necessarily a fan of when it comes to nanorobot scooters is their tendency to get speed wobbles. And that's when you go real fast and your wheel starts to shake back and forth and you really got to hold on tight. And that's something that was prevalent on the D6 Plus and is also prevalent on the N6, being that they're pretty much the same design. So just be careful. This is not a one-handed scooter by any means. And there is no uh, steering damper on here natively. You can purchase a steering damper from Nanrobot if you want to. I do have one on my D6 Plus, and it does help with the speed wobbles a lot. It does not come on the N6 standard. You have to buy that separately. Another thing is, is that light down there rattles all the hell, and it's the same thing on the D6 Plus. Nanorobot, I think it's time for you to switch headlights and go to a different design. It's the loudest, most rattling thing I've ever heard, and I just can't stand hearing that when I'm riding. All right, let me give you my final thoughts here on the Nanrobot N6, and we'll start off with the things that I like. First, it's a really nice upgrade, in my opinion, from the Nanrobot D6 Plus, which was my very first electric scooter. It's got an updated look to it, a rubberized deck, you've got deck lighting, you've got a light up front here. It's just a, a, a much nicer scooter overall, in my opinion. So the aesthetics, the upgraded look, I would choose this over the D6 any day of the week. Pro number two is gonna be the suspension and the ride. It's a really nice and comfortable ride. I think it's a little bit squishier than the D6 Plus when you're standing on the suspension. Of course, it is adjustable and you can adjust it softer and stiffer if you want, but I think overall the ride and comfort of the N6 beats the D6 any day of the week, so that's another pro for sure. Pro number three is gonna be the power and speed to price ratio is actually pretty good on this scooter. The fact that you can get a 52 volt electric scooter for $1,649, that's gonna get you eh, 25 to 30 miles of range and a 41, 42 mile an hour top speed, that's incredible. Now, this is on sale right now for $1,649. Normally it's $550 more. So to be able to get this scooter with all the features it has, the speed and the range for under 2K is a really good deal. So that is definitely a pro. Another one of the upgrades that I've already pointed out that I think is much nicer and something that the D6 Plus didn't even have is the extra lighting. Now the D6 Plus has the headlight, but there is no front stem light on that one and there is no deck lights. And I really love the addition of the front light while it's not really good for a headlight. It does keep you visible, and I love that you're able to change the deck lights to any color that you want, and it dances to the music and all that kind of stuff. So the lighting is a huge upgrade and definitely a pro here on the N6. And my final pro is going to be this huge rubberized deck. It's a really comfortable deck to stand on. It's long. It's wide. The only problem is, is that they put the hook for the latch hook mechanism in the middle of the area where you're gonna put your second foot. And that's a con in my opinion, but the deck, the real estate, you have enough there 
to where you can kind of stand goofy footed, not the right way, but you can stand goofy footed with your feet just like that and you're not gonna have any problems. So the real estate on the deck is much larger than most scooters. Plenty of room even if you have size 14 shoes. All right, let's talk about my cons. Things that I think NanRobot could do better. Number one, the first thing that I noticed is that my battery only charges to 58.2 volts. It's supposed to charge to 58.8 volts. Now, the charger turns green at 58 volts, which is way short of when it should. If I leave it plugged in for another couple hours, I get up to 58.2 volts, but that's it. And in my opinion, that's kind of robbing me of some range. That's like a half a volt that I could have more in range. Plus, it doesn't really give me confidence in the battery quality. Now, NanRobot is known for not having the best batteries. Sorry, NanRobot, but that's true. Uh, they don't last as long. You need to replace them more often. And I feel that's kind of unfair with them being so expensive. In, in a lot of cases, half the price of the entire scooter is to replace that battery that the battery cells should last longer. So there are some companies, including NanRobot, that are starting to use some of the LG and Samsung batteries, but in this one, these are just generic 18650 batteries. It only charges to 58 volts before turning green, 58.2 volts if I leave it plugged in longer, and NanRobot says that's acceptable. It's not acceptable to me. So that is gonna be con number one for sure, is that this battery does not charge all the way up to 100% right out of the box. My next con also has to do with the battery, and that's the fact that I feel like it drains really fast. Uh, during my testing, I was getting about a volt per mile of drainage. So if I start at 58 volts, in eight miles, I was already down to 50 volts, which is not good at all. Uh, once you got to about 50% battery, I did notice that it slowed down the drain, but that first 30 to 50% of the battery drains really fast on my scooter. So again, I think NanRobot needs to do a better job at their battery cells and maybe kind of step it up a little bit because I wasn't too happy with that here on the N6. Well, my next con has to do with the throttle. Now, when I took it out of the box, I noticed that my buttons really weren't clicky and barely worked. And after a little bit, I found out that the case of the throttle is actually two halves. And with vibration and riding on the road, they kind of separate a little bit. So if I take my fingers and I squeeze the two together, my buttons work again. And after I ride and it vibrates, they don't work again. So there's something going on with the case, either on my scooter or all of them, I'm not quite sure where it separates and it makes the buttons not work and I have to kind of squeeze them back together. So in my opinion, that's definitely a con. All right, so my next con is gonna have to do with the range. So on NanRobot's website for the N6, they say that this will go 40 miles with the maximum speed and even longer at slower speeds. Unfortunately, I'm not getting anywhere near that. I've tested this for over 300 miles and a bunch of range tests and I'm getting an average of 25 to 30 miles of range at the fastest speed, not 40 miles. So I know that my battery doesn't charge all the way to 100%, so that might be a little bit and I'm not sure a half a volt is going to make that much of a difference. So the range is not 40 miles at maximum speed in my testing, more like 25 to 30, which is on par, maybe a little bit better than some of the other scooters out there. So it's still good, but it's a con because they stated that it would go 40 at maximum speeds and it doesn't. Now, while this one isn't really a con, I would love to see NanRobot go away from these trigger throttles. Everybody's gone to the thumb throttles now, which I think are real nice. Uh, I'm really a big fan of the new Varla Eagle One V2 throttle. So most thumb throttles, you're gonna, you're gonna push it up and down like this. The new Varla Eagle One, you actually push forward and back underneath your grip. So I like that, but these trigger throttles where you have to have one finger raised in the air all the time, come on, man. Nan Robot, get with the times. Even the cheap $300 scooters have thumb throttles on them right now. So I'd love to see you guys move away from these trigger throttles and give us a thumb throttle, please. But it's not a con, it's just something that I wish they would do. That's pretty much all I got for you. Do any of those cons make me not wanna buy it? No. No, I do think they need to fix their battery issue, but I'm still able to get the same or even better range than other scooters in its class. But 
overall, this is an incredible scooter. It's staying in my collection. It is mine. I'm actually thinking about getting rid of my D6 Plus now because this one has beat it in my standing, so to speak. Um, so I absolutely love it. If you have any questions or comments about the N6, I'd be happy to answer any of them that I can. Just leave them down below. Also, if I've earned it today, hit that like and subscribe. It helps out the channel. And don't forget to check out my merch website. It's called Charged Up Threads. It's really easy to get to. Just go to my website, hobartsreviews.com. Click on the merch tab. I've got t-shirts and hoodies and coffee mugs and travel mugs, all with funny electric scooter and e-bike sayings on them. So go get you some uh, and represent while you're out riding. Well, I appreciate you joining me today for the Nan Robot N6 and Hobart's Reviews. My name is Hobart. Thanks so much and have a great rest of your day. We'll see you.